In today's video, we are going to talk about the F word, forgiveness, and why it's important, but not for the reasons you think. And if you didn't know, I'm Aisha, life strategist for women who want it all, author, speaker, and your new best friend. Forgiveness is a complicated subject to speak about, but it's necessary. I myself have, in recent years, gone through circumstances like divorce. I had a whole community of people that I thought in the moment could have, should have, would have shown up for me, and I held resentment. Forgiveness, you may have heard this taught by many people. It's common. We say you need to forgive for others, you need to release them, and all these kinds of things. Forgiveness is simple. Stop being angry. If you Google the definition, that's how simple it is in its origin. Stop being angry. There are so many things in life that I was angry about. I was angry about my losses. I was angry about the position that I was in. I was angry about being 40 and starting all over. I was angry about investing all of my life, building something that I had no benefit from, from my future. I was angry about all the things I said no to, angry about all the things I didn't do. My hot girl summer I missed out on, just joking. I was just angry. Anger is a beautiful emotion. Many years of my life, I couldn't access anger. I was always sad. Anger is wonderful and beautiful. What has to happen though, is we experience anger as an emotion, we go back to our core and our center. Be angry, bring yourself back. When we are in unforgiveness, we have decided to be angry for extended periods of time. When you forgive, when you stop being angry for certain things in your life, a number of beautiful things happen. For me, I was angry, angry, angry. And I realized that as long as I was angry, I was at the scene of the crime. So no matter what happened in life, I was back as seen, at the scene. But what, look what they did to me. Well, look what happened to me. To me, to me, to me. I had a lot of reasons to be angry and you might say you would agree with me, but none of that would move my ball forward. I had a decision to make. Do I stay and nurture and babysit this anger that I have, not only with others, but anger with myself? It's easy to look at what everybody else is doing and not forgive them for what they did to you, but look at what you are doing to you. That was my biggest awareness, that I was holding unforgiveness toward my own self for my role in my own life. I was angry with me for going along with it. I was angry with me for losing my voice. I was angry with me for not standing up. I was angry for me for allowing my life to be what it was. Angry at myself and angry with everybody else for what they didn't do, what they shoulda, coulda, woulda done for the circumstances of my life. I had a moment and I sat with all of this. I was writing it out in a journal and I was, you know, I was going in. Okay, in my journal, I was telling the truth. And I had a moment. What do you do with all this, Maisha? What of this can you change? What do you have the power over? I can't jump in anybody else's body and make them do anything. I can't change anything about what has already happened in my life. I only have power over now. And in that moment, I wrote everything out and it was like, I just, I just, I released it. And what I said was, the truth is I'm angry with me, that these people did the best that they could with what they knew to do, that I made the choices that I made. Could I have done anything differently? It was about self-compassion. It was not being angry anymore. It was choosing a higher, happier feeling. I chose, well, Maisha, you did the best that you could do. And maybe they are too. And somehow in this acceptance of what was, I allowed myself to release the anger that I felt. And you're gonna tell me, okay, you just did that in one fell swoop at one time. Sometimes the process is gradual. That was my big moment where I just said, no, 
I don't want to be at the scene of the crime anymore. I don't want to rehearse what happened. Can't do anything about it. It actually is harming me because I'm reliving the trauma of that experience. It started there. And then as things came up along the way, I might read somebody's social media posts and it triggers something. I go, it's okay. They did the best that they could. Forgiveness can be ongoing. The goal is stop being angry. Here are three reasons why it is so important. Forgiveness moves you out of the victim space. You have to be empowered. You have to be in, in the driver's seat of your life. You have to be on the offensive. When you have unforgiveness, you are in the defensive. It's what everybody is doing to you. How can you get up from there? When you say, I'm not going to be angry anymore because of what you did to me, you are making an, an empowered choice that propels you forward. If you need to be a victim, be there for as long as you need to be. But know that you have the power to shift that narrative the moment you decide. Number two, forgiveness contributes to overall wellness. Did you know that depression is anger turned inward? When you have all this anger for other people and what they do, it can, it can cause inflammation in your body. Your body can start to attack itself. When you release those emotions out of you, you release them out of your experience, it creates a, a, a safer place for wellness. You're healthier and I dare not say happier. Release these people, let them go, let them walk free. Whatever is meant to happen to them because of how they treated you, it will happen. But holding them hostage does not serve you well. Number three, forgiveness liberates you to move forward. It liberates you to make choices that will add value to a beautiful life for you. Now, I've heard stories in my DMs where I'm like, wait a minute, let me take my earrings off. Let's go after him, baby. Let's go get him. Because it's horrific. It's horrible. It's terrible. Some things you have lived through, you should have never lived through. Some people that have taken advantage of you, it should have never happened. It's horrible. And you can release them. Releasing them and forgiving them does not mean that they are not wrong. It means that you decided their wrongness doesn't have to stop your life anymore. You're saying, whatever is meant to happen to you, that's on you. But from now on, I'm gonna stop being angry at the things that people have done to me, the things I expected them to do that they didn't do. And most importantly, I'm gonna stop being angry with me. Forgive yourself for the choices you made, for the left when you should have went right, for what your involvement is, your responsibility in your life, in your life circumstance. Forgive you. And as time goes on, maybe today you say, okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna let them go, I'm gonna let them go. And you find a week from now, thoughts come back. That's okay. That didn't mean you didn't forgive them, it means you're in a process. You have babysat this anger for years. It's been become a part of you now. It's gonna take you some time to divorce the anger. So when something comes up, just guide it, tell it where to go. Yeah, I was angry, but I don't have to be anymore. When the thought right comes up, give it a new destination. Yeah, that was wrong what they did. And that's gonna be on them. Forgive. It will change your life because it'll put you in the driver's seat of your future. Let me know in the comments where you're struggling with forgiveness. Where have you forgiven? Where do you feel empowered now? I have forgiven everyone in my life. I have no anger toward anyone for any reason. I just don't. Everything happened as it should. Everything will continue to happen as it should. I get to decide. And more importantly, I have forgiven myself for my role and my divorce for my role, for my responsibility in my own life. And it changed everything for me. I wiped the slate clean and I encourage you to do the same. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We're gonna keep this going. The F word is necessary. And if you need support in this journey, I'm here. 
There's a link in my description for a one-on-one -on -one session. I'd love to be a partner in the forgiveness of you and those in your life.